This is a play about a very expensive mink coat. The original story is quite short, but I'm such a ridiculously slow writer that it took me something like five months to get the thing finished, which is more than 600 working hours. That probably sounds a bit silly to you, but in trying to work the plot out properly, I took so many wrong turnings and went up so many blind alleys, I nearly went crazy. Don't forget, a short story writer's working in miniature, and he can't afford to splash his paint all over the canvas. He has to be extremely precise. I find it very difficult. Anyway, see what you think of it. Three months already, is it? Mm -hmm. Good heavens, how time flies. <laughs> Seems like yesterday. What does? Your last visit to Aunt Maud. No, it's three months. <sighs> Will you be away till Monday? Yes, the weekend is usual. Mm -hmm. You don't think it's too much, do you, every three months? <sighs> Four times a year, awful expense, after all. She is only an aunt. I'm very poor, is that what you mean? Uh, I've nothing to gain. No, no, no. It seems a, a little excessive, that's all. An aunt. Every three months, four times a year. I'm very fond of Aunt Moore. I know. I'm her only living relative. I'm mm -hmm. all she has. I mean, it's the least I can do. It's my duty. <clears throat> yes, and I admire you for it. How long is it you've kept it up? Eight years. Eight years. Yes, well, there you are. I always admired you for your sense of duty. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. Not from what you tell me about her. <clears throat> Poor old Auntie Maud. Eighty-four... One room, bedridden, penniless. I'm only grateful you don't expect me to come with you. Oh, I wouldn't do that. After all, she's not your aunt, she's mine. Yeah, quiet. Dearest. Mm? Tonight. What? Did you brush your teeth? Mm hmm. Goodbye, darling. See you Monday. Don't work too hard. Bye. Bye. I'm a little late as it is. Ah, yes, Colonel, of course. Aunt Maud, isn't it? You bachelors. Aunt Maud, exactly.
I'd almost forgotten how ravishing you looked. What I do, Gargo? With the fluoride mouthwash? Twice a week? Yes, sometimes more. And the dental floss? I, I even knock out my gums. Mm -hmm. well, it must be the brushing. What's the rule for brushing, Miss Pulteney? Ten strokes. That's the rule. Use the length of the brush to the full. Teeth have two sides, so it's outer and inner. Five minutes, that's all, and you'll end up a winner. Rinse, please. <laughs> oh, Miss Pulteney, I, I forgot to say I'll be working late. Oh, I remembered, Mr. Bixby. I have ordered your sandwiches. Thank you. Yes, I want to do some inlays. Yes, Mr. Bixby. Excuse me, Mr. Bixby, mm. but I think the injection is beginning to wear off. Open wide. Come along, me darling. Time mm. to wake up. Oh, what day is it? Monday. Oh, no, not already. Afraid so. How time flies. Oh, please. Don't say that. Uh, Seamus will drive you to the airport. Well, you'll come too, won't you? Afraid not. Important business. Oh. I don't see how I can wait another three months. Was there a message? Did he send a message? No, no message. Oh, oh thank you. heard you saying you were fond of mink, so I got you this. I'm told it's a good one. Oh. Please accept it as a parting gift. Oh. For my own personal reasons, I shall not be able to see you anymore. Oh. We always said, just so long as it lasts and no longer. Goodbye, my darling. It's been fun. Good luck. <laughs> P.S. In the right-hand pocket of the coat, you will find an envelope for customs. You have nothing to worry about. The duty's paid. Duty's paid? P.P.S. Just say that Auntie Maud gave it to you for Christmas. <sighs> but Auntie Maud could never afford a present like this. Not in a million years. I want to. I've got to. But how will I explain it? What will I tell Sarah? Sorry about this traffic, love. Down to the weather.
Uh, hello. Uh, <laughs> oh, isn't it silly of me? I, I've gone and lost my purse. <laughs> the banks are all closed now, and, well, I, I, I just have to have some money. I mean, I simply need some money to get home. <laughs> I feel such a terrible fool. What you got? Well, this, this is really a very valuable coat. Hmm. How much do you want? It's mink. How much do you want? Oh, not much. Uh, just enough to pay for the taxi. I'll come back tomorrow and redeem it. How much? I feel so stupid. I mean, if only I had a ring or a watch, but the, the fact is I don't have a thing with me other than this coat. Lady, how much do you want? Money? Compre? Uh, Fifty pounds. For a taxi. Still, that's your business. Okay. Fifty pounds. Name? Mrs. Oh, no, no. Leave that out. And the address. You don't have to have a name and address, do you? I don't have to. But you know the risk. You lose this ticket, it's got no name on it, you're in trouble. How so? Anyone can get hold of this ticket, come in here and claim the article. Yes, yes, All I they've got to do that. is to give me the ticket and I've got to give them the yes, article. Yes, I know. So you better not lose it. Oh, I'm not going to lose it. <laughs> Good heavens, no, it's only till tomorrow. Yes, well, have it your own way. Now, what do you want me to put down for a description? Mink, fur, what? No, no, no description either. It's not necessary. Just put the amount, 50 pounds. Lady, I don't want to interfere in your private life, but I've been in this game a long time. Take my advice. Put a description. What for? What for, she asks. You may want to sell this ticket sometime. Now, who's going to buy it if they don't know what it is? No, but I'm not going to sell it. I'm coming back for the coat tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, I'm not broke. I, I simply lost my purse. I'm, I'm temporarily embarrassed. Don't you understand? Well, it's your coat. Fifty pounds. Uh, tell me something. Mm. If, if I don't have a description on the ticket, how can I be sure that you'll give me back this coat and, and not something else when I return? It goes in the books. Yeah, but all I've got is a ticket with a number on it, so in fact, you could just hand me any old thing you wanted. Isn't that so? Look, do you want a description or don't you? Uh, no, no, I, I trust you. Right. Fifty pounds. Twenty, forty, fifty. She don't like fur coats. <laughs> ah, we ah. I've got a little surprise for you. You've always said that only Americans can mix dry martinis. Well, let me just try this. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, it's simply a question of getting the vermouth to the nearest milligram. I, uh, I bought this for measuring. Darling, how clever of you. <laughs> yes, I thought so. Go on. What? You were saying about Aunt Maud. Oh, yes. Uh, I don't think she's well. She looks awfully frail. Mm. You know, I had the feeling... I don't know how to explain it, but I had the feeling I wouldn't see her again. Nonsense. Though, 84. Can't complain. I worked all the weekend. Yeah. Cast a few inlays. Oh. Did my accounts. Oh, now, really, Cyril, you should let others do your donkey work for you. Isn't that Miss... Paltony, whatever her name is, supposed to help with your accounts. You can't expect young people to work over the weekend. <laughs> no, there's no sense of duty nowadays. Darling, I knew there was something I had to tell you. Look, I found this. What is it? I don't know. I found it on the seat of my taxi. It's got a number on it. I thought it might be a lottery ticket or something. You know what this is, don't you? No, I don't. Pawn ticket. A what? Pawn ticket. A ticket from a pawnbroker. Oh. Uh, name of the shop. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, this might be rather amusing. Why could it be amusing? Well, there's no owner's name and no description of the article. Well, <laughs> you know how pawn tickets work, don't you? No, they sound oh. awfully dull to me. <laughs> well. <clears throat> oh, tell me over dinner. Hmm? Oh, darling, would you set the table, please? And because there's no name and address, this is now our ticket. My 
ticket. I found it. Well, what's the matter? The important thing is that we are now in a position to redeem whatever it is for 50 pounds. Oh, what fun. It could be anything. Oh, isn't that right, darling? Absolutely anything. Yes, but probably a ring or a watch. Oh, how absolutely thrilling. Now, just give me back the ticket and I'll rush over first thing tomorrow morning and find out. No, I think I'd better do that. Oh, uh, no, I, hmm? I, I want to do it myself. No, I think not. I'll pick it up on my way to work. Pawn shop. <laughs> no place for a lady. You're a foreigner, dearest. You don't know the way we do these things over here. And you've no reason to know pawnbrokers, thank heavens. You're liable to get cheated. I wouldn't get cheated. Honestly, I wouldn't. Give it to me, please. Rather you didn't handle it, if you don't mind. One never knows with this sort of thing. But I found it. Now, whatever it is, it's mine. Isn't that right? Yes, of course it's yours. There's no need to get so worked up. Of course, it might be something entirely masculine. Pocket watch, cufflinks. In that case, you can have it. But if it's a woman's thing, I want it myself. Now, is that agreed? Agreed. I say, I'll tell you what, why don't you come with me? No. <laughs> You're right. You'll handle it much better than I. I know you go alone. Oh, it's going to be much more fun if I stay behind and wait. But be sure to telephone the moment you know what it is. Promise. Promise. Well, Cyril, isn't it exciting? <laughs> it's amusing, certainly. There's no doubt about that. Darling. It's all right, Cyril. I brushed. Is it? Is it something nice? Oh, no, go on, darling. Tell me what it is. Oh, I can't guess, Cyril. I can't. Don't be infuriating, Cyril. Is it for a woman? Stop keeping me in suspense. I can't bear it. I can't. Something fantastic. Really? A necklace? No. A, a diamond ring? Not a diamond ring. Something you wear? Oh, I don't know. Um, a hat? Oh, for goodness sake, Cyril, tell me what it is. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not waiting until tonight. I'm coming down to your office and get whatever it is now. husband is expecting you. Uh, I'm just off for lunch. Uh, he won't keep you a moment, Mr. Gorman. <laughs> it's in here. It's a, shut your eyes. Oh, Cyril, shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. Oh, very right. well. Stand there. Don't look. I have to get it out of the cupboard. Oh, heavens, I'm so excited. Oh. All right. You can look. Go I don't dare. Take a peek. Mink. Real mink. Feast your eyes on that. Uh, What's the matter, dear? Is don't you like it? Hmm? Is that what the pawnbroker gave you? Absolutely. In a great big box. <laughs> quite takes your breath away, doesn't it? Yes, Magnificent quite. quality. And look at the lovely colour. It must be worth oh, at least. Two hundred pounds, I think. Really? Here, try it on. Perfect. It really suits you. Uh, <laughs> Not everyone has mink, my dear. No. <clears throat> I'm afraid you mustn't expect a Christmas present. Fifty pounds is rather more than I intended to spend. <laughs> I would take you out to lunch to celebrate, but I'm running rather late. 
I have to fit Mr. Gorman's dentures. Oh, and uh, I shall be home late tonight. Uh, inlays. <laughs> Nine o'clock, I should think. Perhaps even ten. Uh, run along, dearest, and consider yourself a very lucky woman. All right, Mr. Gorman. Wait for me. 